Do all planes have similar cruise altitudes? Well, it's not a coincidence, let me explain. Most commercial jets cruise between 30,000 and 40,000 feet, and there's a good reason why. At these altitudes, the air is thin enough to reduce drag, which improves fuel efficiency, but it's also thick enough for the engines to generate enough thrust to stay airborne. It's the sweet spot where performance and economy meet climb too high, and pressurizing the cabin becomes more difficult and energy-intensive. Some aircraft, like the Concorde, flew even higher, but they needed special materials and systems to handle it. Flying higher would save even more fuel, but the engines would struggle in the thinner air. Flying lower means more air resistance, turbulence, and higher fuel burn. And there's another reason, airspace structure. Cruising altitudes are stacked in layers to separate aircraft traveling in opposite directions. That way, even if planes are flying on similar routes, they're never at the same height. Air traffic controllers also assign altitudes based on flight direction and airspace congestion. Plus, jet streams, fast-moving air currents also influence altitude selection to boost speed or avoid headwinds.